Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing a sort of roundup video. We've got some leaks to talk about that come from Canada Graphs, and also we're going to be talking about Godspeed and next episode, which is episode 18, titled Godspeed, directed by Daniel Panabaker. We're going to be theorizing a bit about that episode and talking about what's to come. So. If you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off we're going to be talking about Godspeed. So this episode, Godspeed, is going to be coming out on April the 16th, so it's going to be quite a while. Today is the 27th of March right now, so we've got, you know, quite a long time, over two weeks. So... I think the question a lot of you guys are asking, and I know a lot of you probably aren't asking, but a lot of people have been commenting and, you know, reaching out to me saying, are we going to see Godspeed before the episode? Are we going to see a trailer where we see Godspeed? Are we going to see a poster or anything like that? And so I'm going to do my best in this video to sort of theorize and say what I think will work and what I think shouldn't happen and so on. So let's talk about that first. Okay, so I think they should definitely definitely include Godspeed in marketing. I think whether it's a poster, which will reveal his suit, you know, properly, they obviously know that the suit was leaked in a set photo, but if they have like a really, really nice poster, that will act as great marketing to get people really excited and be like, oh my god, I cannot wait, and then, you know, maybe the ratings boost up a bit. And then, on the other hand, are they going to release a trailer? So if you remember back till last year, it was just a few episodes before, but it was the No One Annoyed episode, which was terrible, just saying, one of the worst episodes. But that came out April 10th, so there was a break from the 13th of March, unlike this time around where there's a break from the 19th of March till the 16th. So a bit longer it was last year, actually, when you think about it. But yeah, so it came back and... There was actually no trailer in between, there was only an inside look and there was some sneak peeks before the episode, but there was no trailer, but they released a promo and then they released an extended trailer basically on the same day. So I believe the extended trailer may have been leaked actually, so maybe they intended to release it a bit later, but I don't know. And it just was really sort of poor marketing on their part because you know there was such a big break and the episode really really wasn't good and they really didn't market it so they left it a long time and I'm guessing it impacted the ratings I don't know but I think if they market the episode as a Godspeed episode that would be brilliant if they could do that you know put it on the channel you know play it after the other shows that are currently going on like Supergirl and all of the other shows that are still playing right now and they can get the Flash fans excited and other people that are like, oh, who is this mystery guy? Another speedster? I cannot wait. And those people online, those people who, you know, you guys who watch my videos, you know, we all know about Godspeed, but a lot of people don't. So for us, it will get us even more excited if we say, see a glimpse of Godspeed in a trailer or something like that, or just release a new trailer. You know, it really excites people and it does get people talking again because after the episode, obviously we were talking about Godspeed, like, is he going to come? What What's going to happen with him? How big a role is he going to play? We've all been talking about that, but it's sort of died down a bit because, you know, on the breaks, there isn't much news and it's quite hard to make videos, honestly, if I'm being frank with you guys, because there's not much news and it's a lot of theories and... Right now, there's not too many theories to go over because, you know, there's no mystery villain or any massive mysteries apart from we know Godspeed's coming, we don't know what he's doing. But we've sort of all talked about that already because when we first found out about him, you know, we go over the backstory and so on because we really love this character. But there is not too much mystery going on right now, so it's quite hard. But anyway, so that's my segment on Godspeed and... I believe they should release some, you know, footage of him or a poster or something like that, but only briefly, like nothing too big, 
Okay, so let's move on to talk about some leaks. And so, like I said earlier in this video, this is coming from Canada Graph. So follow their blog and also follow them on Twitter at Canada Graphs and stay up to date with them because they have some great set photos and some set details and obviously leaks which all come together to be this video. And so let's talk about this. So they were kind enough to write a load of text as to what's going to be happening in the episode and what they saw that was actually shot in the scenes when they were there the other night. So this is how it goes. A daytime scene was shot with Tom Kavanagh as Sherlock and Kimberly Williams Paisley as Renee Adler who by the way is Sherlock's wife that we saw you know a few episodes back and it had Sherlock running hastily down the street to catch up with Renee who was sitting on a bench. The pair talked for a couple of minutes with Sherlock at one point trying to seem to drag her away before Renee pauses that idea and the pair talk. During the talk, Sherlock shows Renee something and look, and the look on her face, sorry, was one of what, seriously? But what was it that had this meta so amazed? Sherlock seemed to be showing her an extrapolator. What was he giving to her? Was he showing it to her or was he telling her he could come and see her at any time? Is Sherlock saying his last goodbyes to Earth One? We don't know. So they shot some other scenes up on a higher courtyard sometime later in the night and we see that in some of the photos that you can see on the screen right now and you can check out the rest on Canada Graphs' site. But this staircase, they seem to be very scared, you can see the two there and they're actually right there when Shikada, Cicada, the Grace version of Cicada was actually there on those stairs so it seems like they're being attacked. And as it was revealed in a previous episode, Rene is actually a meta and obviously we've only seen her once but you know, Sherlock is married to her in like all these different realities and this version she's a meta so obviously she's after her because she's a messy human. And so now we move on to the next part of the details that Kennedy Grass was able to get so Grant Gustin as The Flash and Jessica Parker Kennedy as XS, Sarah Carter as Cicada all turned up to set and so in the scene it seems like The Flash and XS are trying to attack her with one of their lightning throws and Cicada that being Grace just stands there unfazed by it. She does her classic jump away while Flash and XS seem to cower from the action. A couple of interesting observations of Shikada in the scene was, first of all, there's no respirator. Secondly, looks like she went and got her hair done. She also seems to be donning an almost all leather suit right now. And lastly, she was carrying around some device that looked to me like a type of claw you would see in one of those machines in Moors, where you can win a stuffed animal if you can pick it up with this three-pronged claw. But what was it for? And apparently she didn't actually use it, she just sort of carried it around. Okay, so let's move on and let's talk about some of these photos. So you can see on the screen right now, Sarah Carter, who is the actress who plays Grace's future self as Cicada, is currently seen in these scenes. She's got, sometimes she's got a hood on, but in this specific scene that I've got on the screen right now, she doesn't have a hood on, but I think this is just sort of behind the scenes. But she, anyway, has that same dagger that she has before. She obviously doesn't have her other ones. Maybe they're just, like, tucked in the back. But, like he said, we actually have her with this sort of claw thing. And I have no idea what it is. I'm presuming maybe she either carries it around. But from the photo, it kind of looks like she doesn't have a hand. What happens if her hand is replaced by this? claw thing and it's some sort of weapon I think that's probably a bit more likely actually although it kind of sounds a bit ridiculous I don't believe that she's actually just going to be carrying that around I think it kind of looks like they're trying to hide her hand so it looks like she has this claw thing so maybe she loses her hand at some point but yeah so it seems like she's after Renee in this episode who is Sherlock's wife I have to keep reminding you guys because you know we've seen her once basically and so 
The other photo on the screen right now is of Barry and Nora, and so they're still working together, so that's sort of a reveal. We know that next episode they'll be in the future working together in the Godspeed episode, but it seems like everything is supposedly fine for now. We'll see. Obviously, this is just behind the scenes photos with the actors acting together, and that is about it. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.